let me say this. How long can a person fuss at you if you choose to stay silent? Okay. How long can a person fuss at you if you continue or if you say sorry? How long can a person fuss at you if you continue to back down? Think about that. So let's say that two minutes they can fuss at you. If they are really mouthy, maybe five minutes. I guess on average. Now, what if <laughs> a thought comes to your mind telling you that you need to defend yourself. You need to talk back. You need to go toe to toe with that person. <laughs> Let's say that person is unreasonable. What do you believe is going to happen? Now, something that could have lasted only, I guess, two or five minutes. Now, you are arguing with that person for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, perhaps a half hour or an hour. I am using these time frames as an example. Perhaps now you are losing in some way or form more than you wanted to lose because I guess you wanted to defend yourself. Well, Kevin, I have to defend myself because I am not going to take it anymore. Okay. Let me say this. I believe when you are dealing with an unreasonable person, a person, as it seems, they don't like to use logic at times. I believe people like that has unresolved issues in their past. I believe with people who chooses to not do right by God, to not serve God, I believe in some way or form, I don't know how it actually works, but I believe in some way or form they are being manipulated, controlled in some type of way. I believe they are being manipulated or controlled by demons. I believe that. What if a demon appeared in front of you? Would you try, <laughs> would you try to reason with it? Hey demon, why are you being so mean to me? Why are you fussing at me? Why are you making my life much more difficult? Would you reason with a demon? If you are wise, I believe you would not. Why would you reason with a demon? I believe most or all demons don't want any good for us. I believe that. So why would you want to reason with something that may not want any good for you? <laughs> what if a person is determined 
determined to kill you. Like nothing you can say or do can change that person's mind. Why would you try to reason with a person like that? Let's say that person is mind controlled to where that person can only think of the mission. Why would you try to reason with a person like that? It would make no sense, right? I believe. So if a person chooses to be unreasonable and they have this record of that, why would you try to go toe to toe with a person like that? If you know a person has anger issues, if you know a person, I guess you can say, acts like the devil, <laughs> why would you try to reason with a person like that if they aren't willing to budge? Think about that. If anything, I believe it makes more sense to pray for that person. Well, Kevin, I shouldn't have to pray because I pray all the time and, and that person need to pray too. <laughs> uh, listen. As a Christian, I believe it is our job to keep the peace. Even if you don't get as much as that other person in any way, whatever, it doesn't matter. We need to keep the peace. It is not about let me say this. I believe it is not about what is fair and what is not fair. That is not up to you. What is up to you is doing what it takes to keep the peace and doing what is right. If that person chooses to not do right, whatever. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. So if you choose to be humble and be willing, I guess you can say, take the lower end of, of the stick, how can a person continue to mouth off at you if you choose to back down how long can they do it for I believe with an average gun I believe you need ammo right <laughs> so the less, I believe, the less ammo a person has, the less they can shoot. So yes, that person may find ammo or purchase ammo to fire at you, but if you don't give that person ammo, I believe that person is going to have less ammo. So if that person wants to find ammo, ammo in any way, whatever, let them fire, blah, blah, blah. But make sure you are doing what is right by God. God is going to fix it. Make sure you tell someone that you love them.
God bless you.